Hey YouTubers, this is EMDSD14R coming to you live from the Keystone State. This is um, part two of my X995 project update. Um, you're probably wondering why I'm making this update right now. Um, as you guys can see, I got a brand spanking new Swedish uh, RC1 electric, um, number 1010. Um, and then you see the X995 over there to the uh, right of your screen. Um, this is actually the DC Marklin, so that's the number right there. Um, so Marklin actually made these, this is from 1968, um, and this is probably in the late 90s, or this is the, from 1994. Um, so Marklin actually made DC versions versions of their models in the Hamo series. Um, and uh, I was looking around online for one of these because I, you know, this is my secret to actually converting the X995 to DC. So basically, I'm going to take the internal components of this electric and transfer them to the X995, and then take the X995's internals and transplant them to this electric. So I'm taking the AC X995 and making it DC, and I'm taking the DC. Swedish 1010 and making it AC. So I'm just doing a simple motor swap. Um, let me show you why it's so simple. So this is what the inside of the X995 looks like. It's digital. Um, there's your AC motor. And this is what the inside of the Hammond DC version of uh, looks like. It's pretty much the same. The way the layout is between both units is the same. Um, as you can see, you have a permanent magnet here as opposed to a field magnet or electrical or electric magnet there in the AC unit. Um, everything is pretty much identical. I mean, like, shells are interchangeable between the two. I mean the frames are the same. Everything is the same except this one is set up for DC, this one is set up for AC. You can even get the um, what's it, what you might call it pad here. The um, insulating plastic pad here for your DCC board. Now what I'm going to be using when I come when I switch everything over I will be using this pad again uh, and it will be put right here. Um, I actually bought a 21 pin ESU um, adapter board which is designed to fit in here um, and I just need to get the decoder for it so that would be actually sitting in here like this this will enable me to make this X995 uh, DCC ready so that I can convert it to sound um, later on and I will probably be doing that this year um, so yeah I mean both frames are exactly identical in every which way and I kinda suspected that um, this is the undercarriage of the X995 and then this is the undercarriage of the DC Hammond uh, electric um, or the DC Hammond uh, Swedish version this came from France this came from Germany you know they're they're pretty much the same I mean they really didn't change much of anything inside the design of the motor um, or the chassis um, and you know that made me glad because I was a little bit concerned that you know I'd be wasting my money on buying this so yeah this is my secret to actually converting this into DC operation or DCC ready operation I know there's another way to do it you can you know put a bridge rectifier in which would pulse AC to DC so you can run the AC motor on DC but then you have to insulate all the wheels on here and I didn't want to deal that because I you know I don't know how to do that I don't have the parts for it I don't have the time to do it so I looked around online there was two of these for sale. One was for sale in the United States. This one was for sale in France. The one in the United States was, with, I think, it was in Napa, California. The guy was asking three hundred dollars for it. I thought it was way overpriced. This guy was asking 
around the 200s plus he gave me a $22 discount on it you know I just threw it out there and asked him if he could move on the price a little bit and he did I ordered this actually last Wednesday I wasn't expecting it until the 11th so it actually came pretty quickly it's amazing like this time of year for some reason from my experience things get through customs without a problem but closer to Christmas it becomes a problem don't ask me why I, that's just my experience but anyway so this is my idea for converting your X995 to DC slash DCC operation in a quick painless way the only problem is and I will say this these aren't common um, they're common but they're not common I've only seen two up for sale and the other one didn't sell but the seller never reposted it even though I asked him about it he never replied back to my email this one was for sale for months like four months I was looking I had to save it in my watch list on eBay and uh, thank God I just said you know what I'm just gonna get it because I'm not sure when I'll be able to get it again I mean even the roof details between the two body shells are pretty much identical I mean nothing's really changed with them I mean nothing these are for your lights I'm not sure if I can transplant or transfer the wiring from here to wire up these bulbs here I'm not even sure if those bulbs are AC or DC compatible um, I mean there's slight differences in the frame I mean there's that and then there's that right there I think that's a grounding point if I'm not mistaken so since I'm doing this that would be I think would be feasible when I turn it into a DC model um, this now, now I'm not sure about this but yeah they're actually the same yeah it's the same board and everything I'll probably reuse this one because it's the newer one um, it shouldn't matter if I use the AC one because it's it's the same material I don't think I don't think using brass in an AC or DC model is I don't think there's like a brass specifically for AC and a brass specifically for DC I mean I don't think that's the case um, that shouldn't be a problem but uh, but that's what I'm gonna do and you're probably saying well if everybody could find this other engine they would have already done it but you know I kinda figured I said there's gotta be another way than doing it like everybody else does it some people even have custom wheel sets made that are already isolated but I don't know anybody that can make custom wheels I mean Northwest Short Line could probably do it I didn't even ask them but um, I, I didn't even ask them about that but um, I said that probably be more money than what I you know had and it probably be time consuming this would be quick and painless I'm pretty sure I could I'm, I'm probably I'm not even sure if I'm gonna do it tonight I'm really really tempted to do it um, I'm like thoroughly and I'm like 1 billion percent temp tempted to do it right now like not even kidding but um I'm gonna wait until I get all the parts in and then I'm gonna go from there and uh, and do that but I, I'm going to just put this model on here and I'm going to show you how it runs. This is actually my second Marklin engine, by the way. It actually runs pretty good. I mean, considering I put lubricant on it. So, yep, so that's it right there. Um, I mean, even the screws that hold the body shells on are the same. So the one over, let me see, yep, they're the same. Except the one, this, the rusted ones from the Swedish Electric, the not rusted ones from the X995. I mean, everything is, everything is the same. Everything is identical. There's nothing really different between, there's nothing really different between them. It mm, really isn't. These are your diodes right here, but when I put that DCC ready board in, that's going to be eliminated, so I won't even need that. Um, so I'm probably going to change the the motor in here, put a better motor in here. Um, you know, just get it upgraded and whatnot. Put a new armature in there. Um, put new, you know, uh, brushes in there. 
Um, it looks it looks pretty clean. Um, as far as I can see, I mean the gears are clean and everything, but you know I like like rebuilding stuff anyway, so I'm probably just gonna go ahead and do that. But yeah, guys, that's my that's my trick, and my camera just went out of focus. There we go. That's my trick to converting the X995 to DC slash DCC ready operation. Um, the only other parts I need to get are the decoder. So I'm going to get a non-sound decoder first, and then I'm going to get the motor kit. So I'm probably going to get them both next week if I can. If not, I'll just get the decoder, um, and the decoder will be ESU. And it's, a, it's amazing that ESU actually makes these types of parts that you can actually do that. Um, and let me just take this out of the packaging and show you guys what I mean. That's a direct drop in for the, um, you know, direct drop in replacement. Just get my hand on this. This one wire should do it. There we go. And it's already pre wired and everything. So that's what it looks like. Now you're looking at the holes back here. That's if you have like a longer board and you need to screw it in. But you see that line there? You can actually break that piece off. And let me just put it right here. If you look right there, they're the same length. So that board is designed to fit in this engine. So I got the right part. If you want to look at the part number, it's uh, that's what it is right there. Um, so that's that's what I'm going to be using. And then I can plug a DCC ready to. I can plug a, a non-sound decoder. Or what I'm going to do eventually is put a sound system in here. All right, so um, that's pretty much it. And then as far as pilot modifications, the Swedish Electric has, I think these are um, these are metal buffers here, non-functional. Um, the pilot I'm actually going to fill in on the X995 with either styrene or this brass piece here. I got to cut it to shape, and then I got to bend it and cut a notch out for couplers. So, if I had all the parts, I'd probably be doing this right now, but it's going to be a long, tedious video, so um, I'm going to take my time with that. So, I just wanted to give you guys this update um, on this and show you guys what the DC version would look like. I mean, they both are the same. And if you can get your hands on the Hammond version, which let me show you again, this is the number. And cool thing is, it came with a manual but I can't figure out and it shows you how to take it apart and clean it but it's mostly in German this is the only American section here right here this is the only American section and other than that everything else is in German so I can't even figure out you know what the wheel part numbers are because if I wanted to replace the wheels you know, that's another reason why I bought this model because it had the it had the the you know the instruction manual with it, and I'm thinking, well, you know, if it has the instruction manual, it should have the parts. Well, it has parts in here, like it's got the parts for the the pickup shoes that you need. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. There's your pickup shoes. There's your spring plate number. Let me just move that away. But you know, it's got the ball replacement. Your traction tire number uh, that doesn't have the wheel numbers like if you need to replace the DC wheels so you know um, I'm a little disappointed about that um, I don't even know what it says in German over here I think it's just pretty much the same yeah it's different languages but they don't say anything about part replacement or or anything like that and I'm kind of disappointed maybe it does say and I just I probably just can't read it so but yeah, they're they're both the same. So yeah, if you guys can get your hands on one of these, uh, that's the quickest and easiest way, in my opinion, to convert your X995 to DC. I mean, ESU does sell the motor upgrade kits to convert your motor to DC. They already sell those kits, along with that adapter board I told you about. The only thing is you got to get yourself a pair of wheels, and you either got to isolate the wheels that are currently on the X995, where you got to put a bridge rectifier in there to pulse the AC to DC so that you can run your engine. 
So those are the other options, but this one I thought was the cheapest way, less time consuming way for me. Okay, I wouldn't say it was too cheap, but you know. But uh, yeah, just wanted to let you guys know that and show you guys that. So uh, hope you guys enjoy this mini update on the X995 project. This is part one. Actually, no, this would be part two because the first part, the part one was a, was it arriving. So this is actually part two. Part three would be getting into like the the teardown and uh, reinstallation of these components onto this chassis and these components being reinstalled onto this chassis. So all I'm doing is just swapping motors and drives between the two. So this will be AC, that would be DC. So, and actually the AC version of this is actually more common than the DC version. However, um, there aren't too many of these that have been digitized, as far as I know. So, just, just a little information there, from what I've seen. Alright, so you guys take care, and God bless. Peace. Oh, and I almost forgot, KD couplers will be installed on this model, the X995. I already have them picked out. Peace.